What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel and thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you like the video. If you don't like the video, leave a comment, let me know why. Now we do have our 200 subscriber giveaway going on right now, so go check that out. It'll be linked up above, but wait, finish this video first. There's one week left until we have our winner, so good luck out there. A big thanks to March, Rogue, and Vasky for letting me record this game of Commander. So let's get right into it. I'll be playing my Jetmare Tokens deck. I want to make tokens as fast as possible and close the game out with my Commander's Overrun effect. March is going to be playing his Lord Xander Vampires trying to interact with the board and gain a ton of life. Vasky has another creature token based deck using Chatterfang Squirrel General trying to go guard his way to victory by draining out the table. Lastly, Rogue is going to be playing his Lagamos Hand of Hatred deck. This deck is trying to keep our boards clear and accrue value by tutoring up exactly what he needs, exactly when he needs it. You now know what the commanders do? Without further ado, let's take it to the table. I'm going to start by playing an Arid Mesa, trash kinning that to go get a Temple Garden which I'll use to cast as per Sentinel, passing the turn from there. March is going to play a Blood Crypt tapped and pass the turn to Vasky. Vasky drops a Forest, then casts Soul Ring, not being able to pay for my Esper Sentinel, so I'll draw one, and then he'll pass the turn. Rogue plays a Swamp and passes it to me. Now I'm going to play a Yavi Maya Cradle of Growth, giving everybody Forests. Then I'm going to move to combat and attack March for one. March plays a Volatile 4 tapped and passed the turn. Now Vasky is going to cast an early game Scoot Swarm, then play a Forest triggering that Scoot Swarm, making himself a 1-1 Insect. Then he's going to move to his instep. I'll respond to that trigger by casting Eldoramri's Call, searching for a Circle of Dreams Druid. Rogue plays a Mountain and then he passes the turn to me. Start my turn by playing a Rootbound Crag. Then, I'm going to cast that Circle of Dreams Druid, which taps for as much green mana as creatures that I have. Then I move to combat and I send my Esper Sentinel out at Rogue before I pass the turn. March is going to drop a Swamp and then pass it over to Vasky. Vasky casts his commander, Chatterfang, Squirrel General. Then, he shots in an overgrown tomb, triggering Scoot Swarm and making another 1-1 Insect. That's going to trigger Chatterfang, making him a 1-1 Squirrel token as well. From there, he'll cast Farseek, fetching up a Swamp and putting it into play, making another Insect and another Squirrel. He fails to pay his taxes, so I'm going to go ahead and draw for my Esper Sentinel trigger. Then he moves to combat and attack March with his commander, which now that I realize, should be summoning sick. Rogue is going to play a Buried Ruin as his land for turn, then he'll go ahead and cast his commander, Lagamos Hand of Hatred. He'll move to combat making a 2-1 elemental with haste per Lagamos' ability. Then he'll attack me with that elemental he just brought in. I won't block it and I'll take the damage. He's going to sacrifice the elemental at his end step and then pass the turn over to me. Now I'm going to go ahead and play a Kirk Keep as my land for turn. Then I'll cast Krenko, 10 Street Kingpin, which gets a plus one plus one counter and creates goblin tokens whenever it attacks. I'll go ahead and cast Toski, Bearer of Secrets. I move to combat and attack March with Esper Sentinel to draw myself a card before passing the turn. March is going to start his turn by playing Command Tower and then casting Sangromancer, which is a flying vampire that allows him to gain three life whenever a creature an opponent controls dies and whenever an opponent discards a card. This is going to happen a lot this game, so I won't bring up the trigger every time. After that, he's going to pass the turn. Vasky will begin by casting Braid's Arisen Nightmare, which at his end step allows him to sacrifice a permanent and draw a card for each opponent that doesn't sacrifice the same type of permanent. They'll also have to lose two life. Then, he moves to combat and sends three unblockable commander damage over to Rogue. He'll move to his end step, choosing to sacrifice an insect token from the Braid's trigger. Rogue will let him draw and take two damage. I'll do the same. March will follow suit, but because Vasky's Squirrel died, March will net gain one life thanks to his Sangromancer. Rogue is going to play a Swamp and then he'll cast Carter Doom Scourge, which pretty much just goads all of his opponent's creatures. After that, he'll move to combat and make his Elemental. 
he'll choose to send his elemental over to Vasky. Vasky takes the damage and Rogue will move to his instep. Sacrifice the elemental and March is going to gain another 3 life. Now I'm going to start my turn by casting Aroas God of Victory. That's going to give all my creatures Menace and prevent all damage dealt to attacking creatures I control. Which is great because all my creatures are goaded right now. Then I'm going to cast Nature's Lore into Farseek to go fetch a Sacred Foundry and a Jetmere's Garden. I'll move to combat and send the team over to March for 4 damage. My Cranko will trigger, getting a plus 1 plus 1 counter and creating 2 Hobgoblin tokens. I'll pass the turn while I fetch for those lands. I'll be drawing for my Toski trigger after I um, do the land thing. March is going to start by playing a Mountain and then casting Painful Truths. He casts it for 4 mana, paying for my Esper Sentinel trigger. Then he'll draw 3 cards and lose 3 life. After that, he suspends a Soul Talisman, which is pretty much just a delayed Soul Ring. He'll have it in 3 turns. Then he moves to combat and sends his flying Sigromancer over to me, and I take the 3 damage because I don't have any flyers. Then he'll pass the turn over to Vasky. Vasky's gonna start by playing a Reliquary Tower, making another Insect and another Squirrel. Then he'll cast Squirrel Sanctuary, which will make him a Squirrel on ETB, and his commander is gonna go ahead and make another. I'll draw from my Esper Sentinel. After that, he casts Jadar Ghoul Caller of Nephalia. That is gonna let him create a zombie token with Decayed at his end step if he doesn't have a creature with Decayed. After that, he casts Gruesome Fate, which makes each of his opponents lose one life per creature he controls. So everybody's gonna go ahead and lose 12 life. That's 36 life he dealt to the table with one spell. He'll move to combat and clean up, clean up his board a bit before sending 6 damage at me and 5 at March because he has to attack and can't attack Rogue. I choose to block the braids with a goblin token that I have, saving myself 3 damage and giving March 3 life. On Vasky's end step, he'll sacrifice an insect to braids, that'll make him a zombie and a squirrel. Rogue is going to sacrifice his Carter to braids, I'm going to sacrifice a goblin token, and March is not going to sacrifice anything. Take 2 damage and let Vasky draw. After that, he's going to pass the turn. Rogue plays a mountain. Then he casts Bio Blight, giving every creature with the name Squirrel a minus 3 minus 3, killing all of Vasky's squ squirrel tokens. Then he activates his Commander Lagamos to tutor for a card because 5 or more creatures died this turn. Then he'll cast Skull Clamp and move to combat, making his 2 1 elemental, sending it over to March for 2 damage. During his second main phase, he'll pay the one mana in Skull Clamp, equipping the token he just made and drawing himself two cards. After that, he's going to pass the turn over to me. Now I'm going to start my turn by playing a forest and then I'll cast Siege Gang Commander. It's going to ETB with three 1-1 one, one goblins. Then I'm going to go ahead and cast my commander, Jetmere, Nexus of Revels. It's going to be fully online, giving my creatures plus 3, plus 0, Vigilance, Trample, and Double Strike. Then I'm going to cast Oren Frostfing, which will give all of my attacking creatures Death Touch, and I'll also get to draw whenever my creatures deal combat damage. Because my devotion is more than 7, Aroas is going to become a creature. I'm going to send enough damage at Vasky to take him to 1 life, because math is hard and I didn't do it correctly. I'm going to send 12 damage over to March. I'll draw 8 cards and pass my turn. March starts his turn off by removing the counter from his soul talisman. Then he'll cast Soul Ring into an Arcane Signet. He plays an Is It Boiler Works as his land drop this turn, picking up the swamp he just tapped. After this, he casts Valakut Awakening, putting 4 cards at the bottom of his library and then drawing 5 cards. Really trying to look for an answer to answer all these creatures on my side of the board. After that, he's going to pass a turn.
Vasky starts by playing a command tower as his land, making a copy of School Swarm, then he casts Dig Up for its cleave cost, allowing him to tutor for any card in his library. He finds and casts a Culling Ritual, destroying every non-land permanent that costs two or less. It also gives him mana for each permanent destroyed this way, leaving him with seven black and seven green mana, and March gaining a significant amount of life. He'll use two of that mana to cast Weatherlight Completed, letting him scry whenever one of his creatures die. Then he casts Scurry Oak. It creates a squirrel token whenever it gets a plus one plus one counter, and it gets those counters whenever a creature with greater power or toughness enters the battlefield under his control. Then he'll cast Drake Keeper, which enters with two squirrel tokens, triggering Scurry Oak and Chatterfang, making him a total of six more squirrels. Lastly, he casts Vindictive Vampire, which is a Blood Artist effect. Rogue is going to start his turn by playing a Swamp, and then he casts Turgrit, God of Fright. That's a scary card. Then he'll move to combat and make his Elemental. He moves through combat and Skull Clamps the Elemental to draw himself two cards. After that, Vasky tells the table that he's probably going to go infinite next turn. So Rogue responds to that statement by casting a Lightning Bolt, dealing three damage to his face. From there, he'll pass the turn over to me. I'll start my turn by casting Cathar's Crusade. Then I'm gonna cast Risk the Redeemed and put a counter on all of my creatures. After that, I move to combat and send enough damage at Rogue to take him out of the game, which will trigger my Krenko, giving me four goblins, when the goblins ETB, I'll get four plus one plus one counters on all of my creatures and be left with an additional two two goblin, three three goblin, and a four four goblin, and a five five goblin. Let's just say I got goblins. Jetmere gives my now rather large creatures vigilance, trample, and double strike. With that, Rogue is gonna get taken right out of the game. And March says he won't be able to affect my board state next turn, so he'll scoop so that we can shuffle up and play another game. And these hyper aggressive commanders usually make for a fast game with not much action going on with the stack. So hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay this time around. If you did, please drop a like, leave a comment, and throw a subscribe my way. Until next time, I'll see you all at the table.